After splitting two low-scoring games to start their series at Georgia, 7th-ranked LSU got into a slugfest with the Bulldogs on Sunday. Georgia led 6-1 in the 8th inning and seemed to have the Tigers put away until LSU rallies for four runs. Josh Smith hits a homer, solo homer to make it 6-2 and after a Chris Reed sack fly, Daniel Cabrera stepped to the plate and cranks one out over the scoreboard in right to cut into the Bulldogs' lead. That's two RBIs and by the end of the inning, LSU was only down by a run, 6-5. But pitcher Devin Fontenot couldn't keep it right there for the Tigers' last at bat in the ninth. Austin Bogar lights up LSU's most effective reliever to this point for a two-run bomb that extends the lead 8-5. And before Bulldog fans have even settled back into their seats, nine-hole hitter Tucker Maxwell hits a tape measure shot somewhere into the forest beyond the fence in right field, and it is 9-5 Georgia. But the Tigers not bowing out without a bark of their own. Zach Watson follows a Josh Smith single with a deep fly to left. Randon Jernigan goes up over the fence and brings it back into the park, robbing Watson of a two-run homer. Cabrera, who led the Tigers, going two for four with three RBIs, gets a run home with a single, and LSU adds another to close the gap 9-7. to seven. So remember, Watson homers, we're tied, but with the bases loaded and two outs, Brant Broussard bounces to third, and that's your ball game. Eric Walker made one big mistake, allowing a grand slam in five innings, those four runs making him the losing pitcher. The Tigers back in the box Tuesday for McNeese before another tough road series at Mississippi State. And LSU softball had a more pleasant ending to its weekend in Athens, going for the sweep after rallying from three runs down on both Friday and Saturday. This time it's the Tigers who jump in front with 3 nothing. Shelby Sinceri's RBI liner to right field scoring the first run after a fielder's choice made it 2 nothing. Amber Surrett with the run scoring single to right for that 3 0 lead in the top of the first. Georgia looked like it might have taken the comeback we just saw from LSU in the first two games. A 5 0 lead almost disappears after three Georgia homers, including a monstrous smash by Sierra Bryan to make it 5 4. After three runs in the sixth, the Bulldogs load the bases for Melina O'Neill, but Taryn Antoine goes up to get it, ending the threat. LSU tacked on two more for the final of 7 4. LSU has now won six in a row, while Georgia has dropped five straight. And despite being 12th in the nation, sits in dead last. The SEC tied for 12th. LSU AD Joe Oliva smiling after Saturday's heroics from Tremont Waters. The shot heard around the world, or at least the basketball world, ensuring the Tigers, minus Will Wade, survived Maryland's comeback, upset bid, and advanced to the Sweet 16. <laughs> While well, the Tigers face Michigan State in one East Regional semifinal on Friday in Washington, D.C., the other two spots being decided as we speak with Duke and Virginia Tech expected to advance. And in case you missed it last night, top-seeded LSU Gymnastics had already wrapped up another SEC title before McKenna Kelly even hit the mat for the Final Four routine. The Tigers edging Florida for their third straight title in the SEC meet that was held in the Smoothie King Center in New Orleans. Senior Sarah Finnegan claiming another all-around title as the SEC's individual champion. Despite trailing the Gators early, LSU never lost focus, and the Tigers weren't about to let down a huge crowd of over 10,000 on hand to celebrate with them. I mean, we knew it was going to be a hard meet, and we started on vaulting, and, and Florida was on their best event for their first event, and they took a little bit of a lead. We just hung on because we knew we had the potential to, to go ahead on floor and both teams were fabulous on beams. It was it was an amazing meet. I mean it's a big environment, it's very electric, but um, you know we, we stayed in the purple zone as we like to call, we stayed within ourselves and we got the job done. Another day, another comeback victory for Southern Baseball at Lee Hines Field. The Jags scored 18 runs Friday night, 15 more on Saturday and 13 today. That's 46 runs for a sweep of their weekend series with rival Grambling. Closing things out in the ninth by turning the double play. The Jags are now 8-1 in SWAC play. The final today was 13-8 to sweep the series. And former Southern grade Avery Johnson is out as Alabama's coach after making the NCAA tournament only once in four seasons. Athletic director Greg Byrne announced the Crimson Tide and Johnson, quote, made the decision to mutually part ways. Johnson's buyout under a contract extension reached in August 2017 would be $8 million. 
He led the Tide to a 75-62 record, but Alabama lost five of its last six games this year, including a first-round upset by Norfolk State in the NIT. Stick around, we'll have more news after the break.